Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more Egypt Old Kingdom. So, after that last episode, I took a little bit of a break. I let the salt kind of subside, you know. Uh, I basically also did a little bit of research. Um, and there's not like really any guides for this game online, simply because, you know, it's a pretty um, low-key game. Uh, but one of the things I ended up reading about it is someone mentioned, hey, you gotta think of this game a little bit like a roguelike. It's not really a game that you can necessarily beat your first time through um, it's a game that you kind of have to die and then come back and play again now that you know uh, how to do things a little bit better and then die again and then come back and do things and I mean I think the only thing that was frustrating to me is every time you quit the game uh, it gives you like a ranking for like all of the major events you did and we had like gold gold silver gold like we were doing pretty much as well as we could have done uh, and we still ended up just getting our butt kicked um, a couple things that I think we're gonna do a little differently we are gonna start another one because I think we're in kind of a screwed position but um, I think I'm I'm not gonna rush out finishing the pyramids and stuff like we still had a few turns left in both of them and I think what was happening is um, a anytime you finish one of the pyramids you get a massive uh, uh, well all of a sudden you're, you're paying a bunch of uh, upkeep cost and so there's no real reason to rush them out quicker um, it's a little bit better to maybe go a little slower max out your population so you can get more um, goods and I think that was really kind of where we screwed ourselves is we just didn't have as much population as we could have and I think part of it's because we got through some of those events a little too quickly and so we didn't um you know for example we had so much food there for the longest time and then all of a sudden we got to building the tombs and then the drought came and we were just screwed so we got to be a little careful before we get to those tombs i think so we're gonna start a new game i think we're gonna go straight uh beginner even though I think we're going to get the tutorial. But we're going to do straight beginner. The funny thing is, every time we loaded in before, it always said, Hey, uh, you know, this isn't recommended unless you've beat the game. And I'm like, nah, we can do it. So, now, nah, yeah, we're just we're going to go straight beginner. So, um, I do want to turn off the tutorials, if possible. So, are we on beginner? Maybe not, because they're letting me do things. Okay, I guess the tutorial's gone. Oh, okay. Okay, I was in here earlier checking it out, and it was giving me the tutorial. So, maybe I guess it just disabled it right away. Okay, so can we straight up build you here? That's going to be 12. We have enough production for that. I think I want to knock that out, but we need to get that wild cereal first. So, let's cut the wild cereal, because that's going to give me a food boost. Now, the question is, if we destroy it, I'm pretty sure we don't actually get it. Yo, I don't want the tutorials. Go away. Whatever. We're exploring. Okay, so we got some animals over here. No, we got the spirit. Oh, okay. And then we have another flint, which is going to be another great um, location for... Um, uh, 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 sorry, for a workshop. We built a workshop here. Does that destroy anything? No. Okay, so I'm going to have you go explore over here for one turn. We're going to get a big surplus of food in just a second, so I just want to explore just a little bit further. Uh, we got a fertile glades, but we can't build any there, anything there till we get rid of those thickets. Um, we're gonna go send you over here though, just so we don't uh, run out of food. Okay, so now that we're working that, we should be able to come here and build you. Literally, just barely enough production. Is there any downside to having this? No. So let's just hang out where we are for the time being. And we can actually move you over here and still be okay. Yeah, we'll have... Eh, maybe. Maybe. We should probably grab the science to go quicker. But grabbing the food is gonna... Yeah, Nah, let's grab the science. And by science, I mean culture. And then we're gonna leave you there. Just to make sure we have enough. Okay. So now that we have you done, we're making a decent amount of production. We could come here and straight away build another workshop. Our food's kind of crappy, but... We don't have enough for that, so we're gonna have to wait. That's okay. Um, I think we keep growing food at this point. Or maybe we want to grab science. You know what, let's grab science, because some of these early techs are very, very good. Like, that just gives me plus luxury, plus production straight away, and that just gives me plus food every turn. Both of which would be extremely helpful right here. Uh, what is this? Hello. Oh, we've met the fly people. Oh, okay. They're somewhat friendly. They only have a defense of 12. So we could straight away subjugate them. No, they have 18. They have 18. Hmm. We're pretty friendly with them, so we can actually probably get them friended before too long. 
We could also trade to make a little bit of extra food. Uh, we can improve relations. Um, I don't really have enough for that. So let's just keep exploring then for the time being. We're going to build another workshop here when we get enough production. What I would love to see here would be uh, some wild animals that I could kill. So we can get a one-time boost of production. Oh, there you go. Abundant rains. We're making extra food right now. And then I think we're going to go grow our pop next. I know we need the production for the workshop, but I think I'd rather just get uh, up to five as quick as possible. I know about auto saves. Okay, so there's a pop here that we could actually recruit. And then the abandoned sentiment has a one-time random resource. Give me the resource first, and then we'll go for the pop. And then we got our last text, so there goes our production boost. Sweet. Okay, so we're at 7.5, 2.2, so that's going to be 4. We need to wait one more turn, and then we can build you. And then we'll have two workshops up right away, which is going to be good. We also got a one-time culture boost. Sweet. Thank you. So give me the workshop. And we're good there, and we should be pretty good to grow our pop here in two turns. Um, then that's going to give me another one-time resource boost. Hopefully military. I would like to see that. We gain food. Eh, that works. We can actually grow two right away. So we can basically get to six right now. Is that worth it? We can grab a little more food. We can also get our next level of tech. We do need an army. I would very much like to get an army here going. So what we probably want to do here is build a barrack. That actually cost me upkeep. Hmm. I think we have to do science again. I think we have to go with the culture right away. And then I think what we're going to do is let's do Seth right away to protect ourselves. The problem is if I click you... Oh yeah, we get a one-time boost of production. I remember that now. Okay, so interact with tribes. We need to assimilate 280 clans. We get a one-time reward of 50 culture. Um, so we can assimilate here. Are we making enough amenities? Probably. To get you to 100%. The problem is doing this, getting them to 100 only is helpful for later. I think it's probably better just to leave them as is. Yeah, I think it's better just to leave them as is. Because eventually, like, we may end up just getting random events that uh, make them like me more. And if that happens and we spent time, like, wasting away trying to make them our friend, it's just, like, it's wasted time, I think. So, we will go ahead and grab you. I need a house here soon, too. So maybe we want to try exploring over here, then. Because that's probably some more hills that we could build a house on. Okay, so we got two workshops up right away. There's probably a build order. I don't think I know it yet. And then I'm going to go ahead and try getting this. It's a 50% chance. We will need houses. What's our food at? We're making food, but not a lot. But we could actually lose some food to get um, production boost. Yeah, so let's grab the person first. Oh, crap. You know what we should be building? Blacksfield, dude. Yep. Yeah. Screw you, Seth. Uh, We need to get rid of these thickets. Oh, I probably should harvest you, too. Nah. Nah, we did get our one-time pop boost. And our population went to seven now. Oh, okay. All right, build me a barracks. Then I'm going to take you over here and explore. This would give me a one-time boost to five. We're going to lose food, though. But that's okay, because we're max, pretty much maxed out on pop. So I think that's okay. Let's get rid of the negatives. There's our lions. Okay, so we definitely want to get you dead. Uh, kill you off pretty quickly. Um, we do have a 22% chance to kill him. We have a 30% chance of killing. We have 22% chance of him killing us. We have 30% chance to kill him. And then I think we're going to go build houses right here. And it's a flat area, so it's really good for houses too. So that works out well for us. All right, we're off to a pretty good start here. Next tech, we want to grab the uh, barracks, please. So let's start getting our army up. And then that's going to also get me more army. So we're going to grow uh, pretty quick here early on. 
I could uh, get rid of the glade. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just keep exploring. I'm trying to find uh, specialized areas. Um, cause like, for example, this area right here is not particularly good. Once I get rid of the fertile glade, um, well, once we get rid of this, that's going to get rid of the production. We can get rid of the fertile glade and make some food, but honestly, I would rather just find a, um, a better tile to work early on. We also may want to come explore over here cause it's another hill. Maybe you want two barracks right away. Yeah, that might not be a bad thing because troops are something that we need long term and short term. Okay, so you ended up killing off the lions. That might have happened last turn. So build me some house. Our pop keeps going up. Our max pop keeps going up, but I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I think let's keep going science right now. We still have one more Seth protect. So, and then I'm going to grab, yeah, for the extra favor. Sure. We don't have any fields yet. I could build me a field. I don't think we need it yet. I think I'd rather keep exploring. All right, got our oh, we got our house done. Didn't find anything over there, so I'm gonna send you over here. Just more thickets we need to get rid of. So what we could do is we could actually go ahead and do the gather right now, and we're gonna be losing food, but this is gonna give us a eight food boost, which should allow us to grow our pop by one. Treacherous Seth. All right, so we need to get a Seth one next. And then we'll probably end up building a farm because we're going to start needing a little bit more food. One more turn. We also might want to look up here, but we'll see. Yeah, I think we worked the house. It's not a great territory. More people, dude. Jeez, okay. Uh, Men of the Fly want to go hunting together. Uh, they wish to know what the gods will think, whether to bring misfortune. What shall we say? Divine approval is 33%. Uh, in case of success, see, this is what I was talking about. And then we'll also assimilate them. So, let us pray one time, which puts it to 43. Oh, wait, no, we can pray more than once. Aha! Alright, let's go. <laughs> ah, we had a 93% chance. We had a 93% chance and we failed. Okay, guess what? You're gonna get us. You're gonna get killed now. <laughs> We're not screwing around. Screw you. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, that was so freaking terrible, dude. I'm gonna build a farm here, and then we're gonna have you come over here. I can't believe we freaking failed that. Uh, okay, so that's just gonna give me a food growth boost, just plain growth boost, and then it helps out pastures too. This is also a growth boost, but it improves my fields instead of the pastures. And then this gives me culture. We want the culture. We've talked about this every single time. We want that culture. And I think we're going to go ahead and get you to join us. <laughs> I can't believe we missed the 93% chance. Uh, I'll probably build another barracks there, honestly. There goes our field, so our food should be in a much better spot. Trying to max out our people, but we'll see. Once we subjugate them, then they're going to be paying us a little bit, which is going to be nice. Uh, we can't assimilate them for a while. You still hadn't. That's like three or two different times we failed a 50%er. Three times we failed a 50%er. Do we need you here? Yeah, probably. Ah, there we go. So it took four times to fail a 50%er, or to pass a 50%er. Uh, we got hippos. Hippos need to die. Yeah, what's the hippo chance? 15% to destroy. Uh, we got 30% chance to kill them. We are going to be attacking next turn. Uh, I'm going to improve my fields to begin with. Make you just a little bit better. Um, we probably should get rid of the swamps here, but I also don't really care that much. We're making decent production now. Many is up. Our army is ridiculously big. Oh, yeah, we're going to build another army. So we have 38 to their um, 26. We have a negative 50% positive chance. Let's go ahead and try flipping that around by doing um, the gamble. Enemy commander was killed, so let's do the attack. Someone else mentioned this in the comments, and I kind of noticed this. As soon as the commander dies, straight switch to attack. It doesn't always work, but it you know when it works, it works really, really well. So we have assimilated them. I am going to um, do relations, even though we don't know any other tribes. So that'll be fine. So they are paying us a little bit of food. I can't assimilate until we have chiefdoms. 
which is not too far down. It's after proto writing. Okay, so we're somewhat close. So we're just basically getting a little bit of food from them per turn. Right? Not to work it? No, we actually have to work it to get the food. What? I thought they just paid it to you right, like, right away. Whatever. All right, bump up the army, man. And we did get the hippos, so they did. Um, I don't think I want to drain the swamp yet. I'm going to keep exploring for the time being. I still want to find better, uh, more positive areas. <sighs> I think we keep doing... Oh, no, I need to stop Seth. Yeah, I need to stop against Seth, because we're out of Seth's, uh, Seth's, Seth protection. Hmm. Okay, so we gained, um... 20% of the clan, so we gain a little extra culture per turn. What's nice is we have clay here. So, we want to go ahead and get rid of the swamp. And then we are going to go ahead and build a flax farm here. So, he's got more food there. Interesting. Is anyone exploring right now? Not really. I don't need you to be doing that. You go explore, man. Take over here. I could come and look over here on the pastures and stuff like that, but eh. Pastures aren't all that good, in my opinion. Later on, I mean, there's a certain period where they're okay. Especially if there's, like, um, someone you can worship in them. Uh, domesticated animals, but long term, they didn't seem to be that good. But we will make them better, because... That is next. Okay, so we got our barracks done. Now, the barracks does cost some food. So, yeah, there was a little upkeep there that we did cost. But I think it's still worth it at this point. Um, let's look for the pastures for now. I know I said they weren't good. Um, I mean, early game, they're not bad. Long term, I think they're kind of eh. But we need to get more food right now, if possible. So maybe we shouldn't be working the house. We should instead go work a field. Yeah. I think so. The house gives you a little extra production. That doesn't really matter. So I think what I'm going to do is come here and cut this down so we can get more pop. Okay, so we found another pasture spot, but um, I don't want... I want to domesticate, I think, before we build a pasture. But here's the thing. Can I even domesticate yet? I think I can. Yeah, I think it just costs food. I don't think it requires any tech. Okay, you're going to build me a flax field? Three for two turns. Yeah, we're fine there. Just making sure we have enough production. Ooh, antelopes. So one turn and then we'll go kill the antelopes. So we have 19 turns. We need 29. So essentially, that's 10 turns. Then we can domesticate them. I think we actually go domesticate them. I think we do. I think we try domesticating them. I could, you know, no, no, no. But here's the thing. This tile is going to be so much better long term if I can domesticate them. The thing is, they only remain for 18 turns. My assumption is even if we domesticate them, they still disappear, right? Oh, yeah, let's feed them. Okay, sweet. So now they're there constantly. I like that. And then we're going to go ahead and worship them. Because we want to get them to 100% because we want to domesticate them. I like that. I like that. Also, too, we have more antelopes here that we can domesticate. Uh, but I can't build anything there. So right now, eh. Uh, what's our next text? We gain uh, extra production and then more housing. Workshops don't matter. Yeah, let's do this. Give me more production, please. Yes. And we're going to worship for food. Because I want to keep growing. I want to max out my pop here. Now, I shouldn't probably... Ooh. Ooh, go people don't like me. So, uh, convince our guilt to go people oppose us. Power suspicion, 10%. Uh, we will lose relations with every neighbors. So we can spend a little bit of that. We can spend some food and lower their suspicion. Can we just kill them? I just want to kill them. Amass a large army, then subjugate or annex them. 
Yeah, I like the idea of just, you know, killing them. <laughs> I mean, why would I friend them when we could just murder them? I'm gonna take you and forget you. Let's go have you come over. I don't want you. I want you. There you go. How big's their army? We're just gonna subjugate them. And then guess what? We don't have to worry about this. I like it. You have sent a worker to hunt a wadi. The wadi is the stream. We can't build anything there. Okay. How's our food? We're making a little bit of food. We're making a little bit of everything. So I think this is good for now. And I think we're just going to keep going next turn. Because there's not really much else we can do. Uh, Pata gives us a one-time uh, production boost. Nice. And we get a one-time uh, person boost as well. Nice. So go here. We're losing a little extra favor per turn. Not terrible. Uh, and we are losing luxuries right now. Why are we losing so many luxuries? A little bit from spoilage. Spoilage is actually kind of hurting us pretty bad right now. That's okay. We did subjugate you guys, right? I think. 14. So we're getting close to our next pop. Hurry up. We should do something about the Go Tribe. Yeah, we are doing something. So they are deciding to attack us. They're attacking with the strength of 12. <laughs> Losers. Uh, we're at 83% there. Nice. Nice. Uh, I need amenities. Or luxuries. What? One of these days. Probably about the time I stop playing this game. I'm going to actually start calling it the right thing. Alright, we got another production boost. Here's the thing. We could probably buy them off if this fails. Still trying to find um, a pasture land that actually has, like, an animal that we can, um... We can subjugate. Or rather, uh, friendly with. Wow. They attacked us. I'm just gonna fight them defend. They have 12. How are they how are they doing so much damage, please? Please explain this to me. We lost 23. I'm gonna release again. And then here's our actual attack. So we're gonna gamble and then defend. I should have defended last time, or gambled last time. No, no, no. We didn't kill the commander. He flanked us. They had one unit left and we got flanked. <laughs> oh, that's great. We also got a achievement. Cultural subjugation. Finish the first trial by subjugating. All right, that works. So we sub subjugated them. They started paying us tribute. We're going to keep releasing. But here's the problem. So they're paying us. Uh, we got a one-time 50% relations and a one-time 90. Oh, nice. So they like us now. We still have to come here to actually work it. That's stupid. I don't like that. Can we get up here? I almost want to go straight to Chieftain. I think we're just going to rush out Chieftain. Because they only have seven people. We could, like, own the crap out of them. They have three tiles, too. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, instead, let's take you over here. We gotta get rid of the, uh, Achaea. Um, but we do wanna make you our friends. Now, we are losing food. So, we should build another farm. Unfortunately, we can't. Are we... How many more sets do we have? Two. So, we're good there. So, let's go do more food, then. I don't think any of those matter right now. And, um... I'm gonna come here, get rid of this bush. Drain the swamps four turns, the bushes four turns. However, we get a one-time production boost if we do that. We don't get a production boost here. Let's just go here. We have plenty of production right now. Uh, extra production just gets a little wasted because you start losing it. So, we get a one-time reward of nine culture. We gain growth. Cool. I like it. I like it. We are saving up for 100, so I don't want to um, grab you yet. You're at 92%, so about to get a big food boost here. You got a ways to go next turn. We want to get to 100, so we need one more turn. Our chief wants support from the gods of the goat tribe.
Hey, so we made it 68 percent that time. All right, got a little more subjugation. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. So we need one more turn on you. Uh, we have an extra pop. So yep. And then I'm gonna have you keep exploring. So you come here. It's one turn. Probably actually maybe do the. Yeah, because the problem is, oh, we can actually build here now. No, 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 it was here. Here's the wadi. I thought this was the wadi, too. No, that was the wadi, because it had the, yeah, yeah, no. So another wadi. I figured that was probably going to be a wadi. We got 80% progress. Go send you over here. I want chief domes. Discover. Proto Dynasty comes to power. We get a one-time boost. So what I want to do is say, hey, we want to annex. And then we're going to come annex these guys. These guys actually like us, though, now. Yeah, let's annex these guys first. Also, because I want to build here. What do we want to build? We don't need another house. Another workshop? Or another barracks? I don't know. We could do either. At some point, we got to build a temple. I don't really want to build a temple, though, but uh, we can now domesticate the herd. So cancel this. Let's go ahead and cut this down. Give me a little bit of production boost. And we need to get to 10 uh, food so we can domesticate the herd. And that's going to be a really decent tile. We ended our food blessing, which is not uh, the end of the world. We're now in an arid period, which sucks. But we're still okay. And yeah, let's grow a little bit more culture. Okay. We're gonna go for a few more minutes and then we're gonna wrap this episode up. I think, I mean, we're off to a pretty strong start now. We are off to a pretty strong start last time too, but you know, whatever, whatever. Okay, here goes our battle. Let's go ahead and gamble. We're gonna defend. Warriors are shouting, frightening the enemy. The enemy flanked us. Enemy is still killing them. There you go. Boom. So, fly people have been conquered, and we got 100, um, 100%, so nice. So, we should have gotten an extra pop for that. Quest compete, assimilation of neighbors, score, so we get a one-time, uh, boost of culture. And now, God wants us to build a temple, uh, and we got plus two relations. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just come here and kill off these guys. Oh, actually, you know what? We should convince them to stay. Yeah. Because we can actually build a pasture here. Okay. Other thing we want to do is we want to get these guys up to 100%. And we're just going to assimilate them. So we're going to just improve relations. I still need to domesticate you, so I need more uh, food. So we want to farm here. We could come here and build a temple, too, because that's what they want. Oh, uh, we can't build it yet. God, the upkeep of that temple sucks, man. I feel like you should almost destroy the temple after a certain period of time, but that's just me. Build another field here. We've got plenty of production, so I'm okay with this. Colts, give me the food. We still have enough Seth, I think. And then... That allows me to build the temple, which is what we need. I should have built that one, though, first. Yeah, I should have built the other one first. That's okay. Dang it, now we're losing extra food every year. Ugh. Well, we're about to get uh, two more... Well, one more field. And then Flax field. I just need, I'm just trying to get to 10%. There you go. 10% uh, 10 food rather. So now we can domesticate you and then you're gonna go ahead and build me a field here So now that's gonna be a pretty nice field when all is said and done Which I like to see uh, And I think we're gonna wrap this episode up here. How close are you you need? Uh, you're doing by 2% So you still need another seven turns before you get to 100 and then at that point, we can go ahead and uh, annex you. So, I like it. I like it. I like it. We still have a little extra population that we can grow. So, I would like to get more food here as quick as possible. But, 
We'll have to just keep going with what we have. Uh, but for now, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game comment, and remember to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted to all of my videos in the future. But for now, I will see you guys later. Bye.